young mayor is a young person who is elected by all the young people in, in a given local area. They are elected to represent those young people to adult decision makers, uh, make sure that their views are gotten across. I see a lot of potential in my borough. I know people in the borough can do good, so I hope that with the power that I've got and responsibility I've got, I can make a lot of changes in my borough. The Young Mayor process attracts people from a huge variety of different uh, backgrounds. It's the sort of people that you might typically assume would, would not get involved in, in something like this. Right now we're just heading towards Lady World Skate Park just to show you what my office has been involved in. I think one of the unique things about the Young Mayor process is that it's a local young person uh, elected by other local young people to represent them on a, on a local level. It's about real tangible differences for, for young people in their area. They can see on an everyday, everyday basis. The initial thing came from the young mayor and the young advisors talking to local groups of young people and asking them what they wanted. And when they were told that what they wanted was a skate park, was then going away and getting the ball rolling about that happening. Because they're elected, when they consult with local young people and Lewisham wide young people, those views are taken extremely seriously because, you know, crudely, 50% turnout in their election shows that young people are engaged and that the young mayor and these advisors are engaged. Having a place like this really shows that the mayor's office does know what young people need and want and this is a good way to bring people, different ages, different backgrounds, etc. together. I think everyone really wants to, to ensure that, that young people have more of a say um, for the obvious benefits that it brings the, the young people. Uh, but beyond that, the, the benefits for a local authority are, are huge. Um, besides the, the, the budget that the young mayor might have to spend, uh, millions and millions of pounds are spent every year in, in, on, on children's services, on, on services that, that affect and involve children and young people. And a young mayor can only help to make sure this money is spent in a, in a more cost-effective way. <laughs> I think one of the best indicators of success for, for the Young Mayor um, process is quite simply by looking at the, the turnouts in, in elections across the country. There are literally thousands and thousands of young people who, who take part in elections. It somehow manages to, to capture their imagination in a way that other youth engagement initiatives uh, sometimes fail to do. This is a real first. This is the first time we have had such a gathering of youth mayors, probably anywhere in the country. We are not the monsters portrayed in the media. We are hard-working students, part-time workers, volunteers, carers, sport team captains. Before I was elected as young mayor, I felt discriminated against because of my age. My role is to represent young people, to make and influence positive changes. I give a voice to Newham's young people. As a national network, young mayors are local leaders tackling national issues such as gun and knife crime, teenage pregnancy, child obesity, and also negative stereotyping of young people. I think the fact that they're getting out to like four to six percent of young people or something like that is just amazing. And uh, hopefully if we can bring that into Liverpool, it'll be really good, as long as we can get that enthusiasm built up. The problem we face is that 39% of young people turn out to vote at the last election, 60% of the whole electorate. We've got to get young people engaged in the local political process, because if they don't, then anarchy and extremism um, comes in. What I've tried to do, as the biggest passion, is try and get young people more integrated into the borough council of the town and not just complaining about things. Particularly in Worthing, where we've got quite a... Oh, we've had a, quite an elderly population up until now. There are a lot more young, more people moving into the town now. Um, we need to know what the young people in the town want to have in the town. It's very important that we provide that for them, it's their future.
in 10 years time I would like us to be across the country that's what we're trying to do at the moment but I want to see a much in, uh, an increase in the young mayors across the country and the, uh, the differences that they make while they're in their position I want to see a massive difference and, and prove to people that young mayors do have the power to make changes in areas. I think it's very much that feeling of responsibility for ourselves and for others and wanting to help. And I think that's coming across very strongly today amongst the young mayors themselves, that they've uh, sought these positions because they felt that they could do something with the position. And that's what I would like all youngsters to think about. They could be there, they could make those decisions, they could make a difference in their lives and for everybody else. Members of Parliament, local government representatives, give your support to young mayors. <coughs> Take our message back to your constituencies and your boroughs. Local investment in local young people bring real change. Thank you. I think one of the most important things to remember about the Young Mayor Scheme is that it's absolutely not just about one person. Um, obviously there is an, a, a Young Mayor um, elected, but it's about the, the, the other candidates who stand and inev inevitably um, from, from past experience um, get involved in the Young Mayor Scheme through youth councils or, or acting as young, adv young advisors. There's never a loser with it, you'll, you'll always win somehow. For me personally, I would go into politics myself. I, you know, when I joined, when I was about 15, I would never have said that. The thing that I think all of this stuff around young people's participation, listening to young people's shows, which is that if you take what they say seriously, the stuff they come up with is extremely impressive. Young people getting to negotiate with adults, with politicians and the wider society on a positive basis. It's just something nice to be involved in, in terms of me as a council officer.